button and become a lifelong neighbor of Amber Knight Store. Hit the like button, help a sister out, let people know what Amber Knight Store is all about. Comment down below if you experience the same feelings as I in this in this video today or you know just how you're feeling this holiday season. Um, share with your friends and family. Hit the notification bell so you know when Amber Knight Store is coming to your door. You can always find my social media links at the end of the video. I have my handles for my Snapchat and my IG. Um, I guess I could start putting it down here as well if you just want to keep up with Amber Knight Store on um, a day to day. And so you can also know when I post videos. So without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so Christmas is less than a week away. Uh, today's Friday. Well, when you guys see this, it will be Friday. So it's next Wednesday. And um, I was ex I was experiencing some different feelings this week, this past week and leading into this week. And I was just like, whoa, why am I feeling this way? This is my favorite time of year. What's going on with me? And I didn't want to just di diagnose myself with seasonal de depression because, I mean, I feel a lot. I, like, I don't like it to... I don't like to take things out of context. I don't want to shed light on something that I probably know very little about when there are people out here who are really, really going through deep depression. I do experience uh, anxiety and I do experience lows and highs. I feel like most people do, but I like to really, like I said in earlier past videos that I like to allow myself to feel just so I can analyze myself. Not anyone else. I don't know what other people are going through. I'm not a doctor, but I can only share my experiences. And I, this past weekend and this week, I wanted to feel. And I wanted to understand why I was feeling this way. It was a similar feeling right before Thanksgiving, which is why I think it's a slight seasonal depression or something else. The beginning of this year, you guys know, I experienced a breakup. I was going, I went through a breakup and throughout the year, I was coping with that. I was healing from a breakup. I kept telling myself that I wanted to, I didn't want to get to this point of the year, you know, that my favorite time of year is Christmas and feel a whole bunch of emotions at the end of the year. Be like, I healed myself completely. And then Christmas comes and all of those feelings come rushing back. You gotta be careful with that. So that was just on my mind. Not even thinking about all the other things that can come with seasonal depression. Um, I wasn't thinking about those things. I was just so focused on knowing, but you gotta be happy. You gotta be um, just cheery like your usual self. This is your favorite time of year. You have to feel this way. I am allowed to feel whatever way I'm supposed to feel. But I noticed that um, I think I'm an empath. Is it, is it, how is it pronounced? Empath? 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 However you pronounce it. I think I take on the feelings of others, no matter how they're feeling. If they're very, very happy, I tend to be very, very happy and energetic. If they're sad, I tend to be sad. And I, I feel almost guilty in a sense for their sadness and their anger or things like that. I have to be careful. I feel like recently I was hanging with a friend who was going through something. Names are not important. But I noticed like I started to worry more about their situation. Uh, it affected how I slept at night. It affected how I felt throughout the day. You have to be careful, you guys, um, with your energy. Protect your energy. I found myself praying every morning now, um, God, just protect my energy. Um, give me enough peace and energy so that when, I, when I'm when i surrounded by other people, you know, when you're traveling and when you're just meeting different people throughout the day, 
protect me so that I don't take on their energy. But give me enough peace and joy so that they can, it can transpire onto them and they can reap the benefits of my peace and my joy. But I don't want my self-care tank to be empty once I do that. That's very, very important. So I noticed that lately I've been having to tell certain people, no, I, I'm, I'm not available. I, I can't hang with you. I don't, I don't want to hang with you. I'm not, I'm not free um, to be in your presence because I don't know if right now I'm good enough, if I have enough peace and joy to be in your space, in your energy. Um, so that's that tidbit. Now, going back to the season and how I've been feeling, I noticed that I do not... I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's just that lately, going traveling to go home, specifically home, I'm just not as excited. I'm more anxious now to travel home. Um, at first, I didn't understand that. This this is just now. Well, no, I feel like I've been feeling this way. But this year, it's it, it's hitting more. And right before I left for Thanksgiving to go home, I was like, why am I so hesitant to pack my clothes and hesitant to, to go home for this, for this holiday? It's the holidays. I love my family. And I just love what this season is about, what is going on this past weekend, because I know I'm traveling this weekend to go home. Why am I so anxious to go home? I realize that I am scared of change, and going home reminds me that things have changed. Um, my family, my family dynamic. I don't, you guys, if you if you are bringing to my channel, I do come from a single parent home. Um, my siblings are all over the East Coast. Um, my family is up and down the East Coast. So a lot of my family is in Connecticut where I'm from, but also a lot of my family is scattered. Sometimes I put that on myself. Like I feel guilty that I'm not able to see all of my family. I feel guilty that I'm not as close as I should be with certain members of my family and certain sides of my family. I noticed that I'm more close to my mother's side of my family. Um, there are certain family members that I just would rather be around than certain ones. And, they, and no one has done anything to me. I didn't I didn't grow up in an abusive environment. And if you have grown up that way, I also understand why you have seasonal depression and you are anxious to go home during the holidays. But I just don't like change. I, change scares me. Um, whether it's changing um, what I want to do when I grow up, that's a whole other video. Um, where I live and who's coming in and out of my life. Some of those things you cannot control. I notice when I go home, certain things, how I left them, meaning when I left for college, are just not the same. Or when you, when you were growing up during the holidays, you see things in a different light. And now when you go home during the holidays, it's like, whoa, like certain family members are gone. Um, people rather work. Um, to spend time with family. Um, and you know, everyone's starting to grow their own, um, build their own little family. So a lot of people just don't want to do the certain traditions. Those things hurt me. And I spent a lot of time this week thinking about that. Um, and I'm realizing, wow, I have anxiety when it comes to going home during the holidays and just going home in general. And regardless of things changing, I'm also wary about how people perceive me now one second again if you haven't watched my previous videos if you're new i'm a pre-k i'm a pk i'm a pastor's daughter i grew up in the church i shared certain things on my channel um certain things in undergrad i've done it i'm not too proud of but that has been displayed on social media um certain things that have you know living with a boyfriend Finding out I'm not a virgin, um, drinking alcohol, and things like that, or maybe dressing a certain way. Not that I dress any kind of way, and I don't judge anyone for how they dress. I just feel like people do judge me because of who I am. And they probably not, I'm probably, this is just my thoughts, this is just me rambling and talking to you guys about how I feel about going home during the holidays. So I get scared, I get anxious about, oh my God, like, I don't know if Sister So-and-so saw that video, but it's my truth. 
I, I don't, it's, it, at the end of the day, it is my truth. I want to share. This is not just for, I didn't make Amber Day's story just for people at home. I made it for global and for girls like me to, um, to share my experiences with them. This is not that, but I do. I get um, nervous about how people think of me now. I don't know if certain role models in my life look at me a different way. Am I their f favorite anymore? Those things weigh heavy on me. Um, I feel guilty because I don't spend time with my mom enough. My, my niece, I have so many nieces. Certain I haven't even met in person yet. Um, because of that, I, I moved away from home and I just don't travel to certain places. I can't, uh, financially, I can't travel to certain places throughout the year. I'm hoping that 2020, I will be able to travel more um, and I'll be more financially stable to do so. But I just feel so guilty. And then sometimes when you travel, right? You know, when you're, you're trying to get away from your day to day, you're working um, and you're doing all these things. So when you travel, you kind of want to rest. And I kind of had the certain people that when I go home, I want to see. And then aside from that, I just want to rest. Um, so I feel guilty. Like when people call my mom, but like, oh, Amber's in town. I'm like, mm, I'm in town, but I don't know. Uh, I just don't feel like visiting certain people. It's just a lot, you guys. But I know that it took me a minute. It took me to this year to really understand that about myself. And... I, I love that I am not crying right now because I, I was crying. I'm like, why do I feel all these different? I feel really guilty. Um, my anxiety is high. Sometimes I feel ashamed. Like, I kid you not, after I posted the video about the um, diary of a preacher's daughter, I was like, I don't know what this is going to do back home. And so that's the first thing I think of. Which is why I also think you guys should sometimes it's important to take a break from social media. Not for my channel, but sometimes because I care too much about what people think. Um, so yeah, I realized that I've, I've been getting um, seasonal anxiety, seasonal depression because I care a lot about how people perceive me now. I'm changed. I'm not a 10 year old little Amber anymore. I'm 27 year old Amber now. And it's just like... I've experienced life. I'm not, I don't, I don't know how people perceive me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. What did I do to kind of get over that? Kind of a lot of people, it takes them a long time to get out that funk. I'm pretty spiritual. I pray a lot. And I share with you a little bit of my prayer that I've been praying every morning. You know, God, just protect my peace, protect my energy. Whatever is negative, please take it away. Whoever is negative, please just block their energy from mine. I just want to be happy and at peace and be with people who I love and genuinely love me back. I've really been practicing this year staying away from crowds and people in situations where it just make me uncomfortable. The slight bit of uncomfortability, I don't want to be there. I don't care if you're my aunt, my uncle, a cousin, my sister, my brother, that friends who are now more distant friends. I've been really about self-care and protecting my peace this year. Um, so if you can do that, allow yourself to feel. I don't recommend letting, letting yourself wallow in your that anxiety and depression for too long. Play play some good music, open up the blinds, uh, take a walk if you can. Um, if you are blessed enough to, when you have a job where you can work from home or you can just take a personal day, take advantage of that. If you cannot, there's other ways. Um, eat your favorite dish, but sometimes for me, for eating my favorite dish is comfort food, <laughs> so I don't wanna overeat. So just a, there's a lot of things that you can do. For me, I don't know what your practice is. I don't know what your belief is. But for me, it's prayer. Um, having a cup of tea. Um, lighting candles for aromatherapy. Um, take, I did. I took a self-care day this week. Um, right before the holidays, I did. I was like, I just can't. I woke up. I was like, I can't do it. I can't interact today. Because you want to be, I want to be me. And I want, um, but I also want to allow myself to feel. I don't want to hide those feelings and you know like bury them so that they come out I don't know like Christmas dinner and like oh whoa Amber like no 
allow yourself to feel those feelings um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm not completely over it it's just like i don't know if this is gonna keep happening i don't know if i just have to switch up my traditions now for the holidays and people come visit me but i don't want i don't want my favorite holiday to turn into my least favorite favorite holiday this is the time of year where i'm with family i have a um, january birthday i want to be happy um and not think too much about how people look at me another thing oh yeah like weight gain i don't think i'm at my best right now so when i go home and i'm not around the people who see me every day like at work and my friends here i'm like oh they're probably oh you know i see you gaining weight it's like those certain comments you just don't want to hear so that's just my little fireside chat just sharing with you guys that i'm still human I love Christmas, but I'm just not always a 24-7 Christmas freak. I do experience very human feelings. So, um, thank you for listening if, you're li- if you listen this far. Um, again, comment down below if you can relate to what I'm saying. Um, if you are brand new to Amaran Store, be sure to subscribe and become a part of the neighborhood. Um, I love you. I love having you guys here. I love talking to you guys. Um, share with your family and friends um again my social media platforms will be on the end card the latest video will be at the end card hit the notification bell so you know when amber next door is coming to your door and that's about it you guys i will see you again for another video for vlogmas so yeah love you guys be safe